This is for Amai Mina Kim. During this time, many people are calling for dismantling racism, and much of the conversation frames the conflict as between a black minority and a white majority. And while the current uprising is sparking conversations, it's sparking conversations about how other groups of color can show solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. And with this time with protesters, part of that work involves confronting division and anti-blackness within these communities, according to our guests. And they are Eric Ward, Executive Director of Western State Center and Advocacy organization focused on strengthening an inclusive democracy. Zahra Bilou, Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations in the San Francisco Bay Area. Jose Antonio Vargas, journalist, activist, and author of Dear America, Notes of an Undocumented Citizen. And Julio Ricardo Varela, co-host of Futuro Media's In the Thick podcast and founder of Latino Rebels. And you, our listeners, are with us. And what kind of racial solidarity have you seen in the wake of George Floyd's death? Do you agree with what our guests are calling for in terms of that soul searching within communities of color? If you're a person of color, what does cross racial solidarity or allyship mean to you? What do you think it will require of us? Give us a call, 866-733-6786. Again, 866-733-6786. You can also get in touch on Twitter and Facebook. We're at KQED Forum. Or you can email your questions to forum at kqed.org. Jeffrey tweets, let's remember that the success of whiteness of the 15th and 16th centuries was supported by Christian doctrine. Christianity has a lot to atone for, and I say this as a Christian pastor. Lawanda writes, I always say that some immigrants are more racist than white people, believe me, especially in the Bay Area. And Scott writes, language matters. The language of Black Lives Matter means only that Black lives matter to the exclusion of all others. This is by definition and structure of the English language. Such language is alienating to all other races and more inclusive language should be found. The Black Lives Matter movement does not like the term all lives matter. How about Black Lives Matter too? Eric Ward, curious to get your response to Scott. You know, certainly, and I and I want to be kind here. Um, you know, for uh, 500 years, uh, Black America has attempted in every way uh, to become fully recognized human beings in the United States of America, and and the idea that Black Lives Matters is even a controversial thought. Right, the the idea that Black Lives Matters is somehow a political thought uh, just tells us how far we have come, how lost we are right now uh, in this society. Black Lives Matters is not a controversial thought. What is a controversial thought is that for five hundred years, Black people have only been treat treated in ways that brutalize them. Let's think about this for a second. I challenge anyone to try to sit still for eight minutes and 46 seconds to think about how much concentration and effort it takes to simply sit still for eight minutes and 46 seconds and then think about how much effort a law enforcement officer had to put in to put his knee on the neck of an individual who was telling him he could not breathe for eight minutes and 46 seconds. For eight minutes and 46 seconds, people walked by and did nothing. And you want to tell me that all lives matter in America? What history, what reality do you live in? Black lives don't matter here. And Black Lives Matters is a controversial statement only because folks know it is true that Black lives don't matter. It is a false statement. The truth is this, that we have to decide whether all people have the right to live, love, and work free from fear and bigotry. Whether we say Black Lives Matters, whether we say not one more, whether it is a million rising, what we are saying is room to breathe and it is time for America to step up and be the country it aspires to be. It is a better nation than this and it is time to prove it.